Good morning guys. I actually woke up at 9am today. Um, Elise went out this morning while I was asleep because she had some stuff to do and she bought me home this. It is a pocket warmer for your hands. Um, here's the packaging. And all you got to do is, in this little pouch here, is... Is this thing? And if you can see that inside, it's a it's a little metal disc. And all you have to do when you want your hands to be warmed is crack this little metal disc, and it will crystallize and be warm for about half an hour. So that's really cool. It looks like a mini hot water bottle. Um, it's reusable as well. All you have to do is chuck it in boiling water for ten or fifteen minutes, and you can use it again. So when I do decide to use it, I'll film it and tell you how warm it is. <laughs> As you can tell, I've just had a shower and I'm going to the shed because the power board in our room is really um, like sizzles and crackles and stuff and I don't think that's very healthy. I think it could either burn the house down or electrocute us or surge our products and wreck them. So he's running around my feet like a crazy man. So apparently there's a box of crap in here that might be able to help. Oh look, that's my room. Guess what, I just stepped in dog crap. Ew. Ew, that's really gross. I wear my shoes in the house, that's horrible. Oh, why do dogs have to crap everywhere? Why can't they be like cats and crap in litter? Okay. Leave it up there. Yeah, but that's my room, I was trying to say. Now I'm going to smell like crap all day. I bet there's a lot of spiders in here. Is this the one she's talking about? Because it shows I don't have power boards in it. Oh my god. Um, there's an extension cord. And there's a whole lot of other crap, like a soldering iron and that kind of stuff. Garden tools and a mower and whipper snippers and an old bike. But there's no power board. And now I stepped in crap for nothing. Maybe just look around this one. Ooh. I believe she was talking about this one, but there's nothing in there. There is wall sockets for light switches. Swiss army knife. Who knew? And a whole bunch of other double adapters. Cold and I thought it was wet. That's annoying. <sighs> First world problems, guys. No good. Alright, so my hands are pretty cold and I'm going to use this now. I've got to find where the metal disc is. Hold on a sec. I'll put you on the computer. It is here. So I clicked it and it should start heating up pretty immediately. Um, oh god, that is actually really warm. If only you could feel this. Oh wow. And if you look at it, the chemical reaction has caused the liquid to turn into like a solid like paste. And it's really warm. Now that is the coolest thing in the world, pretty much. That's awesome. I'm going to use this all the time. Whoa. I'm thirsty, so you know what that means. It means this. Doo -doo -doo. Oh my god, that's so hard to press, man. Jesus. That one was easier. Oh. Aussie. It's so cold now because I've been in there all night. That's pretty exciting. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'm watching a movie right now. Um, 
the movie Dear John. It's like a love story. Yes, I'm watching a romantic film. So lame. But yeah, the guy that wrote The Notebook wrote this book and now it's been adapted into film and it's pretty good actually. It's entertaining me enough. I'm still on my computer though. Editing, as always. But I'm having fun, so that's all that matters. So I'm working on cleaning this room and doing something productive and my brother finally gave me the speakers he was supposed to look for like two weeks ago. So this is my new setup. I'm gonna have my computer here. Well, I've got two speakers and a subwoofer down there. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's not an awesome setup, but it's good enough for me for now. I should get a better chair because that's not comfortable at all. But maybe I think it will make me more productive just because I can sit at the desk as opposed to laying on the bed all day. So that's going to be good. I'm excited for that. So I'm almost done cleaning the spare room. I did a bit of dusting on the TV cabinet. My lights are over here. This stuff Elise needs to take home to her house. This DVD thing's always there. Um, I made the bed. Elise's stuff sitting there, iPad and all that. TV looks nice and clean. Just gotta maybe wipe it down a little bit. There's my setup. Water. I'm gonna get some Coke Zero. My phone, all the cords are looking nice. My new speakers. Yeah, so it's quite the awesome hangout to have, to just be able to chill out in here. My camera's here. And my tripod is here. So I'm pretty happy with that. I hate it when it's messy in here because it makes me so unproductive, but now it's gonna be easy to film videos and edit them at the desk. So I think I might vacuum as well. But yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? So Elise and I are watching this cool documentary about McDonald's. It's not like Super Size Me. I think he's just going into the history and the popularity of, actually no, of big brands because before it was Coca-Cola and then now it is McDonald's. But anyway, for the Coca-Cola one, they talked about how Coke isn't necessarily popular in every country. And excuse me, some countries, um, create their own brand of cola to compete with coca-cola and um, going to India Pepsi was more prevalent than coca-cola and I think part of that would be the cricket all the cricket players um, promote it obviously uh, and they have their own brand of cola is called thumbs up and apparently it gives you it's like got more caffeine and it's got like corn syrup in it or something so it's like really gives you an energy kick and I, I tried it a couple of times and it was actually pretty good so that's just something that I've tried um, and about McDonald's he went to India in the, um, when he was talking about McDonald's because obviously 80% of the Indian population or somewhere around that is Hindu so they believe the cow is sacred you pretty much can't really find beef products anywhere in India and when I was at um, Old Delhi Railway Station I had a Big Mac and it was chicken and it was actually pretty good didn't taste any different to Macca's back home so yeah it's called the like Mahatha Big Mac um, that was it was really cool anyway I thought you might find that interesting because it's just something a little different from what we're all used to <laughs> So today is apparently movie day. I'm watching the movie Piranha 3D, which is like a comma, a comma, a comedy horror movie. And this is quite literally my, my, hold on a second, 12th can of Coke since we got these last night. So that's an average of six a day, which probably means that I've drank about probably drank about three or four yesterday so I probably drank about eight cans of coke zero if I'm not addicted I don't know what addiction is that's crazy Whew. anyway I think maybe I should slow it down a little bit but I just love it so much and it's got so little calories and it tastes so good yeah you only live once I'll drink as much coke as I want thank you very much so I'm going to finish up my movie and then head off to bed because I'm tired. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.